Now this is a story all about how our lives got flipped, turned upside down. Our virtual pageant, our effort to tell the story of Jesus, our Emmanuel. This year has brought changes, frustration, and grief. So this pageant is meant as a form of relief, comedic and cute, theologically sound, a promise of light when it's dark all around. So open your hearts to this old gospel story. Each telling is different, the tale evergreen. And each year, a new part is revelatory. So listen up now. I will just share my screen. Our story begins with young Mary, who is humble and willing, but wary, when during her prayers, she was caught unawares by an angel with news, a bit scary. Mary, holy, Lord, be, peace be with you. Don't be afraid, I bring you good news. Like, what kind of good news? Um, uh, a, uh, hey, uh, don't I forgot. Oh wait, I wrote it all down here. Okay, Lord be with you. Um, and, oh wait. You conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his ancestor, David. He will re reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Uh, huh. How is this going to work, even? Oh, wait. The Holy Spirit will come upon you in the power of the Most High, who will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, who will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. It's all going to be okay, because nothing is impossible with God. It's all going to be okay. <sighs> Okay, here I am, a serving of the Lord. Let's do this. Now Mary lived in Galilee, in a tiny town called Nazareth. She needed a friend, so she hurried to see her elderly aunt, Elizabeth. Elizabeth too was expecting a birth. As Mary came near, the child le leaped in her womb. Her body was flooded with reverence and mirth as she cried out in praise at this holy, <laughs> at this holy baby boom. <laughs> Lucky that you have come to see me. Blessed you among women and blessed the fruit of your womb. I'm sorry, I just need a friend. This is so overwhelming. Nothing is going the way I expected this year. How do you feel? I feel nervous and scared, but also excited. God is doing a new thing and I'm a part of it. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, our Savior. Can I sing you a little song to calm, help calm your nerves? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round your virgin mother and child.
Brave Mary pondered these things in her heart, and only one thought caused her spirits to sink. She was due to be married, a new life to start, with the carpenter Joseph. Now what would he think? Shy Joseph had hardly found words when he talked to her. How would she tell him of this baby? So awkward. But she needn't have worried. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream to say it wasn't so weird. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. What? What kind of news? Oh, right. Let me check my notes. By now you've heard that Mary's going to have a baby, and you know you're not the father. Lots of people would expect you to leave Mary. Don't do that. That's it? That's the whole message? Oh, right. The child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And all of this will be to fulfill what has been spoken by the Lord through the prophets. Now this is a dream, right? Well, check this out. Here come the prophets now. Look, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. To Bethlehem, though you are small among the tribes of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. And in the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, and it shall stand forever. I shall give you rest from all your enemies. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne should be established forever. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See your king come to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fowl of a donkey. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the, the ear of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh? What a wild dream, but I know what to do. Mary and Joseph were soon reunited. Their journey to Joseph's hometown, Bethlehem, Augustus and Quirinius had lately decided to count other subjects and tax them times ten. In the city of David, by Augustus's decree, our heroine suddenly went into labor. What? We need a place to stay because of the king's decree. Ah, I used to work for the stinking king. He fired me. And thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. Why don't you just give me a paper cut and pour lemon juice in my wounds? There's no room in the inn. Liar! 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 Get back, witch! I'm not a witch! I'm your wife! And you're a liar! There's room in the barn! Okay, fine! You're welcome to stay in the barn for half price. All right, here you go. On that very night, a few miles away, some shepherds were watching on the side of a hill. Their sheep were all snuggled up, awaiting the day. The night sky was clear, and the cool air was still. Some shepherds were snoozing beneath the moonrise. Some baby lambs were sighing, all bundled in fleece. When suddenly, the sky split, and angels sang, Surprise! Surprise! 
Surprise! Surprise! Surprise! Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest and peace. And peace. Peace, peace to God's people on earth. Peace to God's people on earth. Peace to God and on earth. <laughs> the shepherds were terrified. It all seemed so wrong. Finally, one angel detached from the throne and lifted her voice above the singing so loud and gave them good tidings from out of the cloud. Hey, shepherds, yeah, you. Sorry, this is probably really scary. We're angels, we get that a lot. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Actually, be afraid, just kidding. <laughs> But for real, do, do not be afraid. So, great news. Tidings of great joy for all people, in fact. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. You'll find the line in the major. <laughs> Go see, already see that. And just as suddenly, the sky was aglow with only the stars, and all the shepherds said, Whoa! Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's go to Bethlehem to see the Savior. We're going to Bethlehem. Let's go to Bethlehem. So they walked into town along with their sheep, a hard scrabble village, really, where all were asleep. And there in a stable, the Messiah lay curled, born homeless and poor, born close to the bone. Our Jesus broke into our own broken world to show those who are down and out they are never alone. The shepherds had suffered while tending their flocks. They had lost lambs and parents and shed tears of grief. They had spent their whole lives caught between rocks and hard places. And now they cried with relief because this was peace. This was God with them, Emmanuel. That's really nice. Yeah, I love that song. So peaceful. It's like Christmas Eve is already here. And I could just... Soraya! It's Advent. We must keep awake. And our story needs outsiders, journeying strangers, who have come from afar, who have felt the world shake, at the coming of God, sound asleep in his manger. Of course! We need wise people here, on the dark. But this year, won't travel restrictions cause trouble? This barnyard back room has space, I presume, but these wise people aren't in the nativity bubble. Maybe they could visit baby Jesus via Zoom? Uh, Casper, you're muted. Right, sorry. We wish we could be there in person, but I'm sending you gold. I'm sending you frankincense. It smells good. I'm sending you myrrh for sensitive skin and diapers. There's just something about this baby. 
I know. I feel like some somehow everything is different now. Yeah, but in a good way, I feel like I'm growing. Hey guys, um, before we go, I just wanted to say I, I miss you. Yeah, I miss having adventures together. Me too, but this year is a different kind of adventure and we're in it together. These wise people logged off and went on their way while pondering what kind of God this could be. Not holed up in heaven, not far, far away, but knowable, touchable, here, given free. God comes to us too when we keep our hearts open in thin places, moments of gracious release from our hurts and resentments when we're somehow awoken to our part in the work of God's justice and peace. Yeah. God meets us where we receive and we give of ourselves and our talents, our wisdom, our witness. And Zion is just such a place where we live for each other and for God and wish each other Merry Christmas. 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 Whoa! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.